amount do you truly be aware of Austria? Situated at the core of Europe, the nation has a rich and shifted history, and an interesting future. To assist you with finding more about this enrapturing nation, we've assembled a rundown of our favorite Austrian facts. From skiing to schnapps, here are a few enlightening and intriguing bits of insight that may very well shock you. In the event that you're moving to Austria, this present time is a decent opportunity to more deeply study your new home and an extraordinary spot to begin is with these 12 fascinating facts about Austria. Number 1. An Eastern Kingdom with one of the world's oldest flags. The official English name for the nation is the Republic of Austria, yet where does this name start? The word Austria really comes from the country's German name, Österreich. This signifies Eastern Kingdom in German, or Eastern Empire. Assuming you're in Austria, you'll most likely gone over the famous red and white stripes of the country's public banner. Curiously, albeit the genuine date stays challenged, the banner is remembered to trace all the way back to the 12th century. As allegedly, the red represents the blood spilled by Duke Leopold V at the Siege of Acre. Certainly one of the gorier realities about Austria. Number 2. Austria has no coastline but does have the Blue Danube. In the same way as other of its focal European neighbors, Austria is altogether landlocked. Without a doubt, while limits and boundaries have moved throughout the long term, cutting-edge Austria borders a noteworthy eight different nations. These are Germany, Czechia, Slovakia, Hungary, Slovenia, Italy, Liechtenstein, and Switzerland. It might not have a coastline, but you'll still find a cluster of beach bars in Vienna, alongside the banks of the mighty river Danube. Europe's second longest river twists through the north of the country, taking in Linz and historic tone before reaching the capital. The majestic river inspired local composer Johann Strauss II to write his famous waltz, The Blue Danube. Number 3. Most of the country is mountainous with plenty of mountain activities. While the northern parts of Austria are genuinely level, a significant part of the rest is rugged in nature. As a matter of fact, the wonderful Austrian Alps cover an incredible 62% of the country. The most noteworthy top among this large number of mountains is the Gross Glockner, sitting at an amazing 3,798 meters. You'll require your strolling boots to climb these realities about Austria. With this multitude of mountains, any reasonable person would agree that Austria is a heaven for the individuals who love nature. In summer, the slopes are buzzing with the sound of climbers taking in the country's extravagant mountains and valleys. There are north of 2,000 significant distance climbs to look over, a large number of which cover Austria's 50,000 kilometers of mountain ways. At the point when winter comes, local people and guests the same take to the slant. Austria has a family accommodating skiing society, with north of 7,000 kilometers of runs and a comfortable upre ski scene. The country's well-known winter sports objective, Innsbruck, likewise has the pleasure of being one of only three urban communities to have the Winter Olympics at least a couple of times, in 1964 and 1976. Number 4. A leader in renewable energy and imperial power. 
Austria certainly takes full advantage of its sloping territory with regards to environmentally friendly power energy creation. Truth be told, around 80% of the power produced in the nation comes from sustainable sources, overwhelmingly by means of hydroelectric dams. As well as being one of the more practical realities about Austria, this makes it simpler than any time in recent memory to drive your home with environmentally friendly power energy. Austria's vainglorious capital, Vienna, is the previous seat of the powerful Habsburg Empire. When quite possibly of Europe's most significant magnificent power, the Habsburgs ruled Austria from 1276 until the end of World War I. The abundance and significance of the realm can in any case be seen today in the numerous rich castles, theaters, and historical centers in Vienna. Number 5. Austria was annexed during World War II and didn't gain independence until 1955. Following the breakdown of the Habsburg Empire in 1919, the Austrian Republic was framed. Be that as it may, this didn't keep going long. Following the ascent to force of Austrian-born Adolf Hitler in adjoining Germany, pressures in Austria started to develop. Austria was at last added into Nazi Germany in mid-1938, compelling a large part of the neighborhood Jewish populace to escape their home. In the prompt result of the United Triumph in 1945, Austria was parted into four occupation zones. Like Germany toward the north, these were occupied by the US, the Soviet Union, France, and the United Kingdom. These occupation zones stayed set up until 1955 when Austria acquired independence. Number 6. Peeking around the Iron Curtain and joined EU in 1995. It very well might be tranquil and quiet nowadays, however Austria was once at the very front of Cold War strains between the US and the Soviet Union. This is because of the Iron Curtain, the limit among East and West Europe that incorporated Austria's eastern boundaries. Vienna sat barely 40 kilometers from this much-challenged geopolitical division. Austria joined the European Association on January 1, 1995, alongside Sweden and Finland. Prior to holding a confirmed mandate, the nation had been viewed as doubtful about joining the exchanging coalition. Be that as it may, because of its protected resistance to military coalitions, Austria stays one of only a handful of exceptional EU individuals to not be essential for NATO. Number 7. The home of classical composers including Mozart. One of Europe's leading cultural centers throughout the centuries, Austria is likewise the origin of numerous extraordinary composers. Franz Schubert, Joseph Haydn, Gustav Mahler, and a lot more have called the country house throughout the long term. Guests can partake in their work at one of Vienna's extravagant concert halls. Of the relative multitude of numerous incredible Austrian composers, the most well-known is Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Brought into the world in Salzburg in 1756, the prodigal youthful artist went through numerous years voyaging Europe, engaging the mainland's eminence and gentry. Mozart composed over 600 works all through his life, and his experience growing up home is quite possibly of the most well-known museums in Austria. Number 8. It's the birthplace of psychoanalysis and the Terminator. Despite the fact that he was brought into the world in what is presently Czechia, it was only after he shown up in Vienna that Sigmund Freud started his investigation of the human brain. 
The pioneer behind present-day analysis lived and worked in the city for a long time around the turn of the 20th century, becoming popular for his notable work in the field of psychotherapy. Notwithstanding the nation's sparkling past, for some, the most renowned Austrian is unified with a straightforward expression, I'll be back. Arnold Schwarzenegger was brought into the world close to Graz in 1947. He acquired overall distinction by turning into a weightlifter, prior to moving into Hollywood motion pictures and afterward politics. He was governor of California for a long time from 2003. Fans of the star can visit his life as a youngster home in Graz and investigate a gold mine of memorabilia crossing his profession in weight training, films, and politics. Number 9. Coffee culture is a big deal in Vienna and so are books. During Vienna's golden age, the neighborhood bistro scene saw a portion of the 20th century's most powerful figures. The vaulted Café Central was visited by Hitler, Leon Trotsky, and Josip Braz Tito, among others. A couple of roads away, the exquisite Café Lantman was the choice of Freud, Mahler, and that's only the tip of the iceberg. The cafes are still a must-see today, for coffee and sacrotort. Book lovers in Vienna will almost certainly need to visit the Austrian National Library, one of the biggest on the planet. The library contains more than 2 million books tracing all the way back to the 14th century. It is housed inside the great ornate state hall of the elegant Hofburg, the postcard prepared previous Habsburg castle in central Vienna. Number 10. A micronation in an amusement park and the oldest zoo in the world. One popular Austrian you may not know is craftsman Edwin Lippberger, the founding father of one of our favorite facts about Austria, the micronation Kugelmugel. Situated in the memorable Prater amusement park, the Republic Kugelmugel came about following a dispute between Lippberger and local authorities. Lipburger passed on in 2015, but Kugelmugel stays a well-known vacation spot. In the rambling grounds of the Schönbrunn Royal Residence sits the Tiergarten Schönbrunn, the oldest zoo on the planet. Laid out as a magnificent zoo back in 1752, the zoo actually invites sightseers from around the world. There are north of 700 species at the zoo, yet the most well-known inhabitants are without a doubt the giant pandas. Number 11. Austrians love the sound of music but not the sound of music. Closed by their noteworthy backlist of well-known composers, Austria is an exceptionally musical country. From the renowned yodeling that has for quite some time been well known in the country mountain regions, to a blossoming underground electronic scene in Vienna, there's something for everybody. Austria likewise won the Eurovision Song Contest back in 2014, with a melody from Conchita Wurst. For some outsiders, their most memorable taste of Austrian life gets through the 1965 Hollywood musical, The Sound of Music. The film actually carries fans to the slopes close to Salzburg, where it was filmed. In any case, local people aren't fans. In actuality, a fascinating reality about Austria is that many despise the film's generalizations and numerous authentic mistakes. One thing's without a doubt, it's certainly not on the rundown of their favorite things. Number 12. Locals like to pig out at New Year and love their schnapps. As custom directs, Austrians celebrate the New Year with pigs, an image of best of luck. A few families set up a nursing pig banquet to celebrate what many allude to as Sylvester, after the Holy Person's Day. 
It's not simply pork, all things considered. Smaller than normal pigs of marzipan, chocolate, and more are shared as a feature of the festivals. This is uplifting news for any veggie lovers. And certainly our most delightful reality about Austria. Obviously, no Austrian party is finished without a glass or two of schnapps. Famous all through Europe's snow-capped nations, the neighborhood drink is an unmistakable, new delicious natural product liquor that fresh debuts will before long get a preference for. On the off chance that you're toasting in Austria, make sure to visually connect as you say, Prost, as it's misfortune on the off chance that you don't. As these facts show, Austria is a brilliantly varied country. There are a lot of charming places to live in Austria settled across the rich scene. Numerous expats will make the capital their new home, and seeing why is simple. Vienna is frequently positioned among the best urban areas on the planet for personal satisfaction, beating out everyone else in 2019. So any place you choose to settle, you can anticipate snatching some schnapps and saying, Prost, to your astonishing life in the Eastern Kingdom. Please like, share and subscribe to this channel. Also press notification bell to notify you of any future similar videos.